Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Hey Sunshine, it's Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? I'm just gonna say I'm not in the best mood. I'm on my period, I am bloated, and I really need to wash my hair. But I figured maybe talking about some thrift clothes would put me in a better mood. Fingers crossed. Basically, I've been thrifting a lot, <laughs> like a lot, mostly for a video that's gonna be coming out next week. And I have definitely accumulated quite a lot of things at Savers, Plato's Closet, Buffalo Exchange, Goodwill. I mean, literally the whole show bane chill sit down massive thrift haul i think it's massive it's pretty big all these goodies here so i got this sweater right here it's originally from a company called trader bay i don't really remember all the prices i think this one was like eight or ten dollars it was from plato's closet and it just looks like this i love this thing so much because it's much more of a thicker, more structured sweater, but at the same time, because it's not super fuzzy, it doesn't feel like really warm, which is kind of great, obviously, for the season now. And I just, oh my god, I love it so, so much. I really don't own that much yellow. I don't know why. I've also washed everything, which is why I don't know the prices. Then, might as well show another item that is yellow. This is originally from Lottie Moss. I really haven't bought anything striped in quite a while. It is yellow stripes yellow and white stripes and I just think it is so so cute with like my mom jeans and like the whole vibe going on I really really liked it it's very like a delicate material and really really breathable I don't really wear button-ups or collars very often but I think I'm opening myself up to them I do not know and I think this one was like probably eight dollars pretty sure oh my gosh I have to show you guys this okay so it's technically a pajama shirt I'll totally wear it as like a normal shirt because why not it's originally from the Disney store it is in a large slash extra large this Winnie the Pooh long sleeve it's just got Winnie the Pooh all over it with like some plants it's a light yellow wow just like really going ham with the color yellow in the beginning of this video i did not plan that whatsoever i don't even know if you guys can like really tell but i i just love it so much i can definitely wear it as a pajama shirt i don't really wear lawn sleeves to bed just because i get really warm but it's kind of like a thermal it's not super thick which i really like so it is still kind of light i think it was only a dollar and fifty cents yeah super cheap i am pretty sure yeah yeah. This shirt I also got from Savers. It said the word stress. Ooh, did I feel that in my heart. It's from a company called Old Varsity Brand and it's just got a little lady on there and it says stress and I feel this right now very much so. Just made me kind of like laugh and I love me a good, you know, t-shirt of course. I think this one was only like probably five dollars. Um, I'm pretty sure. This I got from Plato's Closet. It is from a company called Brian Walker and it's kind Kind of like a velvet material. I don't really know how to explain it. I feel like when you see it, it looks a lot like thicker than it actually is. I get cold, okay? I need something to be able to bundle up if I do get a little chilly. This with like a white shirt I think would be really cute and it's nice and oversized and I just really really like it. I really like the sleeves as well because they're almost kind of like short sleeves which I really like so I think it still kind of is in the summer vibe. Ooh, I am so excited about this one. Trying to find Harley Davidson shirts in there is like nearly impossible, but for some reason the day that I went, I found so many. A lot of them that I just didn't really like, but they did have some, which was really cool. And I saw this and it's definitely different than any Harley Davidson shirt I own. I think this one was $11 and it's just a bedazzled Harley Davidson shirt. I don't know. I just thought it was really, really great. A lot of you guys asked me why I love Harley Davidson so much. Honestly, it's because growing up my dad always took me to the Harley store. He actually just gave me a bunch of Harley shirts But yeah, it's nice and like bedazzled. There's only a couple bedazzled like Pieces that are off and then in the back it just says Las Vegas, Nevada. This one I actually ended up not washing. I guess I forgot. Um, I got it for $5.49 at Savers and it's originally from Forever 21 and a medium and it's red. It's a red kind of like scalloped, no not scalloped, uh, lettuce edge shirt. I really liked it because it's more of a deep red. It's made with a really like light material. It's a v-neck. I just thought it was really cute. And I definitely want to get a little bit more of like basics. This one is a like super summery shirt, I personally think. It's this kind of like crop top, crinkled crop top. It's originally from a company called Me To We. 
and I just really really liked it. I love these kind of like crinkle shirts. I don't know, I think they're really flattering and I really like the actual detail. They're just like a bunch of pink flowers, like some florals, little like really ruffles at the bottom. I don't know, it's really cutesy, which I'm usually not too into, but I'm feeling it right now. Now I am looking for one of those big sleeve, I don't know, like the big sleeve peasant tops. Ugh. I'm trying to find it second hand and it is so difficult. Every time I think I find it, it ends up being too small or it fits kind of weird or my shoulders aren't big enough. It's a whole thing, but I did find this and it's similar. It's originally from Forever 21. It is in a small, I think it was like $10, 10 or $11. And it is this crop top, this white crop top. It does have the like bell sleeves. These ones are off the shoulder, so it's not exactly what I was looking for, but it's pretty gosh darn close, especially with the like front part, the way that it fits. Definitely different than what I've been wearing lately. I feel like all I wear are t-shirts, which I love, but getting items like this just to kind of like mix it up. All right, of course, I found overalls. Woohoo! find these at Goodwill. They're by Dickies and I they were $8.99. I originally went to a $1 Goodwill sale like three weeks ago that I actually filmed for a thrift with me and I didn't find anything except for this but it wasn't a dollar so I just never showed it. So I figured I would show it now. I don't know how much I love it just because when I went, all the dressing rooms were like super packed. Nobody would open them for me because they were super busy and so I just like bought them. I don't own any white overalls so I did figure they were a little bit different than what I'm used to and they're just some Dickies overalls. I don't know how to show them right here but they're white. They are a little bit more of a faded white. This one um, I got at a Goodwill boutique called Rare. It's in Orange County somewhere. I don't know. I'll leave it linked down below. It's literally like the secondhand version of Urban Outfitters. The aesthetic of it inside, it's just so cool. The prices were pretty like the same. I got this really cool purse for I think $12 and it says My Fair Lady. The actual thing for that and I just think it's so cool. And then it has like the record on the back. Oh, it's a nice little purse. I'm not super into purses and I really want to get into purses so I figured this was a nice little funky edition. I just wear my backpack all the time. I figured maybe I should add something a little bit different to an outfit, which as I was talking about always wearing backpacks, I got a backpack. <laughs> this one is originally from Buffalo Exchange. I went to one in Orange County and I love the idea of Buffalo Exchange, but I don't always find stuff. I When I did go, they had a lot of Harley Davidson shirts, so I did almost buy them and the prices of them were pretty like fair. But anyway, I saw this bag and I really wanted a more like structured backpack that isn't just my like typical school backpack and it has flames on it, which I think is kind of perfect for the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It was $16. Seems like it would fit a lot as well. Like there seems to be like a lot of room. I know you can't really tell. Figured in the summer I can rock it to again, add something to my outfits. But that was my little collective summer thrift haul. A lot of times, like I said, I may only buy one or two things at a thrift store and I may not be filming. So that's kind of like how these videos are created. If you guys do like thrifting videos, thrift hauls, thrifting with me, make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, alexandshred83, to keep up to date with me during the week. I hope you guys have a super sunny day. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye!